Hello um, everyone and that's high school English group one lesson four I assume so we're talking about to kill a mockingbird and that's chapter 11 we concentrate on and I'm going to go over the questions with you real fast so you can jot notes if uh, that's what you want to do in order to be able to answer them later okay and um to start with what's going on in the story there is um a family of two children and a father and um, they also live uh, or they have a person who comes and stays with them for a while their cook and their babysitter almost like a family member called pernia she is a black woman and she is very religious and very educated for her um, time and uh, for her race at that time. Um, the father has to go away and the children cannot really stay by themselves. So their babysitter is staying with them. And the children's names again, if you forgot, is Jem, uh, the boy, and Scout, the girl. And the father's name, I hope you still remember, is Atticus. So Atticus is their father. So he went um, to um, some business visit. He went to another city for a period of time and the babysitter had to stay with the children because she knew that um, they're not going to be able to stay there still young um, by themselves. So, and that, at that moment, there is also a Sunday coming up and she doesn't want them to stay at home for Sunday. Usually on Sundays, they go to church. So at um, that particular Sunday, she wants to take them to her own church. And her church at that period of time was only for black people and the kids were white. So white people were not allowed to, hmm, so to say, um, not really welcomed. Hmm. And that's also controversial. So it was not an, a tradition at that time. So white folks would go to a black church or black church would go to a white folks church. And she is making a, um, almost like a revolution in the church. So let's talk about the name of the church. The name of the church is very important because it just shows how it's called first purchase. It just shows how the religion was very, very important for uh, everyone at that time and age, and especially for um, the people, the, those who were slaves at that time. And so they were not slaves anymore, actually. They just came, they just newly um, became free people and the first thing they did in the community is they collected the money and they purchased this church so that church was very very important for them because they wanted to pray God independently um, okay so but having said that the kids are coming to the church and at the church the kids meet one person who really does not um, welcome them very well and her name is Lula but no, she does not represent the whole perspective. She does not represent everybody's perspective um, that she doesn't want white people to come to church. The most of the people actually welcomed the kids and they respected their father and they respected Calpurnia, their babysitter, and they really showed a great respect to the kids as well. So no, she did not represent the opinion of everyone. Um, in this chapter, we read about the actual accusation of Tom Robinson. So what happened? What was the accusation about? And Tom Robinson was accused of the rape of a white girl, uh, the daughter of the family of Yules. And you probably remember that he didn't commit this crime. He didn't really rape this girl, but probably most certainly her father raped her, but because she was afraid to tell on her father and her father made her to tell that um, that person did it. And of course, everybody would believe because he was a black guy. And this particular story that um, 
a black guy raped a white girl was uh, of huge attention to the whole um, city. So then later on, when he was taken to prison, um, nobody wanted to give a job to his wife. Why? Um, no, she could not really feed her children by herself, not because she didn't want to work, or, but because nobody wanted to take her because her husband was being accused of such a bad thing. So most of the people didn't want to give a job to her. There was a very, very interesting joke how um, the children had a conversation with um, Calperni at the church and um, Calperni told them how old she was and um, and then Atticus and then Atticus um, oh, well not Atticus the children said you don't look as old as Atticus does because our father Atticus he looks much older than you and then she said yeah you know what um, mm, we black people don't really age so fast as white people so you cannot really tell our age and uh, there was a joke so um, because before that there was a conversation about the education how not so many black people at that time could read and then Jim says oh it's probably because they cannot read and the joke here is that uh, yeah well if you cannot read then you cannot get so old fast because you you just you do not read about all the bad things that's happening in the world so you don't get stressed too much okay I need to see what else. Uh, we're almost done. The last one is the nasty surprise. So then the kids return back home. At the beginning, they're very happy maybe that their father is not there because they're staying with Calperni only. But then they come back from the church and what happens? They see somebody standing on the front porch. Their auntie favorite sarcasm. No, they actually hated her. They didn't like her at all. They didn't share it political views with her, they didn't share racial perspective with her, and then she is coming here to stay with them and babysit them. So no, they were not happy at all. I hope that you understand more or less what was going on in this particular chapter. Thank you uh, everyone for your hard work and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.